Welcome to Wyoming Knits. My name is Jenny Lee, and this is episode four of my podcast where I like to show all of the things that I've been knitting on. Today is April 8th, and it is currently 33 degrees here in Southwest Wyoming. Um, you can find, find me on Instagram as Jenny Lee Knits, and you can find me on Ravelry as Jenny Lee S. Knits. Um, I live in Southwest Wyoming with my husband, our daughter, and our little Yorkie Dax. So today I have three finished objects and seven whips I would like to share with you. Um, my first finished object is what I'm wearing. I am wearing my So Faded sweater. This is a sweater by Andrea Mowry. Um, and I just used a whole bunch of green colors that I had in my stash. Um, this first one is Happy Mermaid yarn. The second one is um, Ravenwood fiber. Then I have these three, three or four down the arms and the bottom of the body that were Knit Picks, Hawthorne, um, some of their green colors. Um, this took a while for me to finish. Um, I I don't know if I like the way I do my um, where I knit, pick up, and change colors for each round. I I feel like I need some more practice with that. So it took forever because I wasn't really quite happy with the way I was doing that and I thought oh I'll just put it away for a little while and then I'll get it back out. Um, my second finished object is my Desert Vista Dye Works socks that I did for March. This is in the color Zombody Dragon. Um, they're not quite matching but they're the same colors, so I like it. These are for me. I am participating in the Desert Vista Dye Works 8th Annual um, Sock Club Cal. Um, you make one pair of socks every month. You have to cast on on the first of the month, and they have to be finished by the end of the month. And these ones were finished before the end of March. Um, and I've just been putting all of them in a box and I will wear them or gift them to myself in December after I finish all of them. Maybe that'll be my Christmas present, a box of socks. So second finished object and my third finished object I have is my, um, winter league pullover that I made for one of the girls that I work with. I'll have to insert a picture. I made this with the Lion Brand Hometown in the color Salem Creek. Um, she got the yarn for me and I knit it up. I've knit me one, I've knit my daughter one, and I also knit two of the Autumn Lake pullovers. So that was a, a fun sweater to, to knit. It's a bulky sweater. And I'm, I'm glad I got to finish one for one of my friends that I work with. And so now we will go into all of the things that I've been working on in the last three weeks. Um, I did remember to put progress keepers on most of the things so you could see how much I knit in the last three weeks. My first one I want to share with you is my Garter Abyss. This one is a pattern by Stephen West. It's living in my Fates thread bag with all the with all the dragons. Um, I only have one color um, on here now. I started at the top with this purple. This is a Happy Mermaid yarn. 
in Pillow Talk, and then I moved to um, a purple and green speckle. That was Dragon Horde yarn, one of her um, mythical sock sets that I got last summer. And then um, I moved into some other colors. There's a sock obsession yarn in there, and then at the end, this is another Dragon Horde yarn. This is Terrison. And so I'm ready to put the border on here and be done. I think I have 11 more rows to go. It I timed myself last week and it takes me 25 minutes to get from the beginning all the way to this end. So it takes me almost an hour to do one row repeat. But it's almost done. Let's see, where is my... This is where I was at last time. So I've made some progress. It's going to be big and then I'm going to be able to wrap it around me this spring in the cold weather. It has not warmed up. We still have lots and lots of snow. We had two snow days that we we couldn't go to school on those two days. So we had virtual learning days on those two days. And so I am ready for spring. We got lots more snow on those two days. I think we got almost 30 inches of snow over those two days. And I am ready for the snow to melt and to finally see some green things again. Um, my next whip I would like to share with you, work in progress, is my Marled Mania cardigan. Um, I really enjoy working on this one. Um, it's a lot of um, back and forth and whenever you run out of a color just switch. I'm using two two fingering weight scraps held together to make a DK weight and I'm just marling and so this is what I've got so far. There's the collar. I've got the sleeves on some some of my Chowgu cords with the stoppers on the end. So let's see. There's where I was at last time, and I've gone about that far. I just pick it up and go back and forth and back and forth. There's some ribbing on the edge and underneath the arms. And this part up here I held with some cereal packet that I had left over from a project and I'll add in some surrey or some mohair on the end of the sleeves on the cuffs when I do that part and so I'm looking forward to having a marled sweater marled scrappy sweater from Stephen West um, I've seen a lot of penguinos and um, I'm not exactly sure I like the construction on that one. This is just living in a tote I got from the dollar store with all of my my greens. Oops. So I just reach in and grab the next color whenever I'm close to running out. Um, so I'm just going to keep chugging away on that one. 
I'm really enjoying the process and just mindless garter stitch back and forth till I hit a stitch marker and then some ribbing and then garter stitch. So that's going to be really nice to wear when I'm finished. My next whip is living in one of my sassy sacks. Let's see. Can we? I got this one on Etsy. I'll link everything in the description box below. Um, I'm working on the Big Cozy Cardi by Andrea Mowry. And last time I was right here and I've put some more some more rows in. This is going to be worked back and forth until you have a big rectangle and then there's some seaming and you pick up stitches um, along the collar and I'm going to be using this uh, baby Surrey from Hugh Loco. I can have focus. There we go. So, if you can't tell, I'm ready for spring. I want all of the green. So, this sits by my chair and I just pick it up at night and back and forth. Um, it's a four stitch repeat down the back. And then, so I kind of have to concentrate on that one a little bit more than the Marl Mania one. Um, I did work on my jigsaw puzzle blanket. This is a blanket pattern by Stephen West. I finished, let's see, um, where was I last time? Okay. We had this section last time. I picked up and did this section right here. And then this section right here. And then one more triangle along the top. So I've done, let's see, one, two, three, four sections since last time. And then I think I pick up along here, maybe, or hmm, maybe this side. I don't remember what the next section is. I think it's this one. Right, pick up here and go back and forth and add, add on to there. But I'm just using a whole bunch of scraps that I have, holding two fingering weight yarns together. Um, I'm trying to get a sparkle yarn in there every time. And so this one is ready for my next section. Um, I just have this huge tote that I've got all my yarn in. I grab a sparkle and a solid and put those together and then Next time I'll grab a different sparkle and a different solid. And I'm hoping not to make any section the same. But I think this is going to be a warm blanket for my lap when I'm sitting and knitting. Um, my next work in progress is my April Desert Vista Dye Works socks. Um, this is in a 
bag by Fancy Boy Designs. I just thought this bag would go good with the Desert Vista yarn because it kind of matches the logo. There we go. So I thought that would be cactus bag with the logo. Um, I cast on on April 2nd. And I've made it about that far. I've done one color repeat. This is Zombody Zumba. And I'm using nine inch circulars. I cast on 56 stitches for me, did a two by two cuff for 20 rows. And then just plain stockinette for the rest. Um, I used um, a size zero. I'm gonna try a size zero and see, see if I like the gauge on this. And here's So I thought this one would be fun for April. And then I have another pair of socks. Um, these are from Happy Mermaid Yarn. This is their Goblins, Goblin King 80s movie set that I got last summer. Um, last time I showed you I had cast on, done the cuff, started on the leg and I was doing like a texture pattern and I decided I didn't really like that pattern so I ripped it back to the white and um, just did plain stockinette, just a vanilla sock. I've added in the heel. Um, I finished the gusset decreases, and so now it's just plain, plain knit until I get to the toe. I do have some progress keepers on there that I count every every ten rounds. I put a progress keeper or um, a stitch marker. And when I get to 70, then I start the heel. So I've got, got both of these in here. And this is a bag I got from Molly Klein Designs. My little Scooby-Doo bag. And then I have one more pair of socks. Um, this is a pair that I'm making for um, another one of my coworkers. It's living in my cute green frog bag. Um, I don't remember where I got, oh. My needle crafts. Um, I got this one on Etsy, so I will link, link all the shops I've got yarn and bags from down below. Um, I'm working on these. Purple is her favorite color, so I added a little bit of gray on the bottom. I'm almost ready for the heel. Um, I'll probably just do the heel in purple and then the toe in the gray. So I've been working on this. I want to have it done before the end of the school year. I'm pretty sure I can do that. We have until the end of May. I think our last day is June 2nd. So those are some socks. Just vanilla socks. I did 
64 stitches for those ones and those are on a size size one needle and that is everything I've worked on over the last three weeks so three finished objects and seven work in progress um I did get some more yarn and knitting notions um let's start with my local yarn store I went a couple weekends ago to the yarn and the tail in Rock Springs and picked up some yarn and some stitch stoppers I've got a couple of these I'll have some more stitch stoppers for my needles. Um, I picked up two more of these. I have, have four already, um, but I want to make a sweater with these. Um, this is 30% alpaca, 30% linen, and 25% uh, bamboo. 15% micro tweed per 100 grams there's 274 yards and it says a size 2 on there and so I just wanted to make sure I had enough to do a sweater I'm thinking of doing um, one of Hohi Locatelli's sweaters can't remember the name of it um, but I think that'll be really pretty in the purple tweed and this color is called wisteria so I got some more of that and then I had to get I had to get some sock yarn while I was there I got the Barocco sock and this is color number 1465 so it's got the green and brown and blue kind of reminded me of spring I'm ready for spring it needs to stop snowing and get warmer and we need to have some leaves on the trees and green grass I am so over the cold. We had multiple days in February and March where the kids had to stay inside for inside recess because it was too cold to go outside and they're ready for warm. They're ready to be outside and move their bodies. We are ready for spring here in Wyoming. Um, I am a first grade teacher. I think I forgot to mention that. I am a first grade teacher and so I teach um, six and seven year olds at our school. So. I will link the yarn and the tail down below. You can shop online and she will ship things to you. And then I got a couple more things in the mail. So I got my, I did do another order to Desert Vista Dye Works. I got two more skeins of yarn. I've, this one is Zombody Needs a Cocktail. Lots of fun colors. And then this one is um, Zom Llamas in Pajamas. green and sparkle so those will be going into my stash for the Desert Vista Dye Works um, ninth annual sock cow um, I ordered the Dragon Horde yarn Tolkien inspired sock set this one is the ring bearer this one was the March color. So 
that'll go into stash for socks for me. And I got my row one. Um, my credit card expired and I didn't notice. And I was waiting, waiting for my minis and went back and looked at my email and it said that your payment was declined. So I hurried and jumped on and put on the new expiration date, but the yarn had already shipped. So I contacted her and she said, I have, I'm out of the April colors, but I do have one you haven't received yet. Would you like that one? And I said, yes, yes. So this is one from probably a couple of months ago. This is Woolen Women Fibers. Lots of fun, bright colors. So this will go into my scrap witchery blanket. There's a little pack with um, a note about the dyer and the colors. And then it came with a little yarn skein, progress keeper, and stitch marker. So these will go back in the bag. And I'll put those in the box for when I work on my scrap witchery blanket. And then I did get my, my yarn a bowl. Um, but I, I ordered some more stitch markers. I got, not stitch markers, um, stitch stoppers. I got some more, some more dragons and some cute little frogs. I got these from Wishful Knitting Shop on Etsy. So I'll be able to use these ones and my other premier fruits for some more socks came. This is in the color plum. And some purples. I thought that would be fun. Um, this is 93% acrylic and 7% PBT, 50 gram balls each. So two to make socks. And while I was at the yarn and the tail, we went in Rock Springs, we also went to Joann's and I found these. These are um, finishing needles. I've seen Natalie from Love and Stitches Knitty Natty work use these to weave in some of her ends. So I thought that might be um, something to use for like these little ends. If I get some that are kind of short, I could just use use these to weave them in. And then we'll go to our yarnable for this month. Oh. Um, it's inspired by the Velveteen Rabbit. This is the April color. Um, Somebody Loves You. And we got the Firefly Note Sweet Silver Toned Bunny Progress Keeper with Lobster Claw Cat Clasp. Let's see. Cute little bunny. And then we got 
a treat. Um, this is from Homemade Toffee Co. This is a carrot cake toffee. Um, no gluten and no soy. And then there was a cute little wooden pinch bowl to put your stitch markers, progress keepers in. So that's going to be living right by my chair. And then we have the yarn. This one is called Somebody Loves You. The, there's purples and orange, tan. So this will go over in my stash. Um, I think I want to use every color from January to December in a pair of socks and then take those leftovers and put just yarnable leftovers for this year into a blanket. So this will be going over on my shelf for when I'm ready to start working on those socks. Um, it looks like that is all of my acquisitions for this month. Um, so that's the end of all of the, the knitting and yarn goodness for this episode. Um, please like, subscribe, leave, leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, I'll link everything down below. You can email me at wyomingknits at gmail.com. Um, and I think that's all. So until next time, happy knitting.